Hey what's up guys my name is Rahul and welcome to the third video of this video series SketchUp Basic to Advanced and today I'm going to talk all about the selection tool the tool which you see first on SketchUp the selection tool is this one which you, which you use to select entities uh, like face or edges on SketchUp the shortcut key of selection tool is the spacebar the largest key on your keyboard and there are two ways to select well, first thing is just click on a face to select face click on an edge to select an edge and the other thing is click and drag that is like this click and drag how to do that is you just need to use the left mouse button just click using the left mouse button on the canvas then drag over the object then release just press drag release that's it guys that's the two method for selecting entities using the selection tool okay now we are moving on to the modifier keys there are three modifier keys there are four but there are mainly three that is control control for shift shift and that is the three modifier keys so let's do it the control is adding selection if you want to select multiple entities you can use selection tool and by pressing and holding control on a keyboard you can see a plus icon appears right next to the mouse cursor so that indicates you are adding selection so I want to select these four phases so select like this sorry select the four phases like this in that way you can select multiple entities or there is an another way with the click and drag that is I selected the first object like this without using without pressing the control key I want to select the second object also so I press and hold the control key on my keyboard then again drag over this component or an object so I selected two of this object that is how we can add selection using the control modifier key and we are moving on to the second modifier key that is control plus shift what that do is that do the opposite of what I said earlier that is it will subtract the selection I'll show you guys now selected two or three faces now I don't want this selection so press control plus shift hold that you can see a minus sign appears right next to mouse cursor that indicate that you are subtracting or deselecting selection so I don't want this selection so click right there and that face is deselected now as you can see right now you can also use this modifier key while using the click and drag function well how that work is I selected the three components right now three components and I don't want this component to be selected so I press and hold control plus shift as you can see right now there appears a minus sign then drag over a component or a se selection which you need to be deselected so that's how we do it using the click and drag function or an option and the next modifier key is shift which will toggle the selection as you I, I can show an example of this I selected two components I don't selected these two components so when I shift click and drag it over it will toggle the selection as you can see right now I select I first selected these two components I deselected these two components by using this I toggle the selections so that's how the shift modifier, modifier key works and there is also an another modifier key which you can really say as a modifier key it is just a shortcut by on using the selection tool that is control A everyone knows about this shortcut which you use in every open system so it is very common control A that is to select the whole entities in your canvas so just select the selection tool then click on the canvas to activate this window then press ctrl and you have selected all the entities 
And the last thing is a trick that we do using the mouse. Double click and triple click. So if you want to select this whole face, including the edges, what you need to do is just double click on the face. Sorry, I just triple click it. Just double click on the face. You selected that face including the surrounded edges so that is the use of double click by use yeah, as a modifier key oh, that, that, that's not a key but a, as a technique you can use the selection tool and you can just double click to select that face including the edges next go to the second technique that is triple click triple click is select the whole component or two objects that if that is connected like this I'll show you guys an example so you can clearly see it it's connected these two components like right like this and when I triple click on one of the component or one of the face it will select the whole component that is if you triple click on a on an face or an object it will select all the components or the objects connected to it so if that make any sense that is it it will select the whole component or the or whole faces edges and all kind of that stuff which is connected okay guys that's a two technique you can use using the mouse and there is two other things that you can use while using the selection tool the first thing is if you're selecting and you just need to go around the canvas so what you guys can do is in order to select the orbit tool from the toolbar sorry that's not orbit orbit tool from the toolbar you can just use the mill boss button then press it hold it then move the, move the mouse and you can pan and go over the canvas it's just like a camera you can use the orbit tool by pressing the mill mouse button and the second thing is you can select and right click to get a lots of options like erase height so like there is a lot of options, intersect faces and make unique texture, add photo text, there is a lot of options. But this option is not only for the selection tool. It can be, it is available for all the tools around here. I will show you guys right now. So I use the pencil tool or the line tool, then right click. I also get all that menus. So it doesn't a really a function of the selection tool it is a function okay, of and all the tools so that's all guys that's all about selection tool that is all i have talked about modifier keys a shortcut it use how to use that everything i hope you guys like this video if you guys did then please give a big thumbs up comment share that will help me a lot guys and make it your favorite and also make it your playlist with your own videos and like that kind of stuff in your channel so then please comment down below if you want any quick tutorial on modeling any other stuff. So I'm ready to help you guys. So I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye guys. Stab it must go in here. Then large tools set over here. Solid tools for top. Views right. 